Good morning, everyone. I'm Francesco Roboletti, and uh, I'm here today with Qinghua from CNH to talk about sustainability of their supply chain. But first of all, we'd like to ask him that also we noticed that he prepared an amazing PowerPoint to, to support his speech. We'd like to ask him what is really CNH about. What do you do? Of course. So, who is CNH? CNH Industrial is a global leader in capital goods that mainly focuses on design, manufacturing, distribution, commercial and financial activities in the world market. Uh, we have more than 63,000 people working in 66 manufacturing plants and 53 research and development centers, and our presence spreads across 180 countries. Our products are mostly found in the agricultural and industrial sector, such as tractors, trucks, buses, powertrain solutions for on-road and off-road marine vehicles. Yes, uh, you talk about 180 countries. I think that your presence is so worldwide. Can you explain us a little bit how does the supply chain networks work? Yes, of course. So, uh, this is a map of our supply chain, and CNH Industrial relies strongly on partner suppliers, whom we label as CNH Industrial Suppliers. They form our worldwide supply base, whom we rely for components and services. Uh, CNH is supported by a purchasing organization, whose uh, yes. objective is to find the best-in-class suppliers in order to establish and develop a working partnership with them. Uh, so our suppliers are selected through the evaluation of many criteria, such as quality, price, uh, competitiveness, delivery, manufacturing process, innovation, and sustainability, uh, which is a subject we will further elaborate in the next few minutes. Okay, thank you. So now we can jump into the core of, of our topic. What is a sustainable supply chain for CNH? So, for CNH Industrial, the concept of sustainability doesn't depend only on our corporation. We strongly rely on our suppliers in order to promote high sustainable standards to the whole system. Okay, um, can you provide an example maybe of this collaboration you've been talking about? Yes, of course. So, um, let's nice. take as an example uh, the This is from your website? Yes, yes. So, basically, how to become a uh, supplier for CNH. So, uh, let's take an example uh, for the whole supplier selection process. So whenever a supplier wants to uh, collaborate with us, it has to go on the website and fill a form. Um, the focus of this procedure is not on the economic efficiency of the supplier, but on its sustainable practices. Uh, for instance, we ask them to provide a list of documents and certification from third parties, of course, to state that they are aligned with the CNH Industrial Sustainable Approach. The most important step for them is to sign the Supplier Code of Conduct, uh, which provides framework for labor and human rights, environmental protection, trade restriction expo and, ex and export controls, and business ethics. But right now, if I understood well, you talked only about sustainability. It's like your only parameter, your only KPI in a supply selection, or there's also, I don't know, economic efficiency? Or... Um, of course not. You know, we're uh, having uh, completed this form, and if everything went well, the company becomes a so-called potential supplier. Um, and then an economic assessment is carried out to finalize the partnership. But, okay, but how can you be sure that, the, that your supplier now that it became a supplier can, can stay on the same practice throughout all the years? How can you, can you be sure of that? So we conduct monitoring each year. Um, the most important element in the monitoring process is the sustainability self-assessment. Self uh, so a survey is sent to the suppliers Right now, we cover about 50% of them, and it's asked to them to, to, to fill it. Um, the result is weighted in a macroeconomic trend, uh, such as uh, you know, unstable countries or war zones, and the results are analyzed at our office. And after this, we write down the list of uh, risk suppliers. And how do you treat these risk suppliers? Do you have any, any process in order to do that? Or? So uh, we have a sustainability audit okay. uh, which is carried out either from CNH or a third party uh, aimed to identify a joint corrective action plan based on a singular audit result. Um, then our mission is to monitor the right implementation of action plans to continue the collaboration. Otherwise, we will have to uh, end the relationship with the supplier. Okay, so I think that for the present, so the sustainability of the supply chain of CNH is more than enough. You, yeah. you are really precise. Maybe we can, we can ask you some questions about the future. Yes. Where is CNH going right now? So about, Still about the sustainability. Yeah, so the future of uh, CNH supply chain. So um, there are many approaches to sustainability. 
uh, at CNH, but our main focus is on the ability of the company to set goals for improvement in different areas of the company. These goals will combine to ensure we are a leader in sustainability and supply chain management uh, practices. Um, of course, by setting and reaching targets, the company ha has a measure of achieving towards sustainability, and this will encompass many areas of the company. Uh, we aim to increase supply chain sustainability through our commitments. Uh, we have to promote social and environmental responsibility among suppliers. So some of these actions are, ongoing introduction of contractual clauses on adherence to sustainability principles, um, enhancement of sustainability awareness among our suppliers, and CO2 emissions monitoring of key suppliers. You, you mentioned before that you actually um, other com you, you are linked with other company targets. What does it mean? So, I mean, well, as we know that the uh, supply chain management needs to be run as an integrated involving all stakeholders. Uh, we have commitments for our corporate governments, developing our people and the communities we are in. Uh, we want to improve relations with public and private organizations as collaboration can be beneficial for both our company and those who collaborate with. Uh, we also have a commitment to innovation and product development, manufacturing process, logistics process, and end of life processes. And in this way, we deal with our products through the full life cycle of the product and hope to achieve sustainability in the supply chain and in the company practices as a whole. Okay, thank you very much. I think we stole already you like ten minutes from your precious and busy agenda, so we don't want to we don't want to see you any more time. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Uh, that's all.